All right, so I stumbled on this article that says students from DeVry University, other for-profit schools have loans canceled over fraud. Now, if you thought this was from 2005 or 2010 or 2015, where these for-profit schools were just running amok, doing whatever they wanted, and there was nobody to tell them that what they were doing was wrong, well, unfortunately, this one was just posted a few months ago in February of 2022. So it basically talks about how more than $70 million in student loan debt for borrowers who say they were defrauded by for-profit DeVry University is going to be canceled. This is the first time the education department has approved such claims for an institution that's still in operation. Right, so they did something similar for ITT Tech, but ITT Tech is completely shut down. So that's like a completely different story. So the article talks about how 1,800 former DeVry students will get their loans cleared after the department concluded that the school lied about the success of its graduates in order to get new students to enroll. The agency said it plans to force the school to cover the cost of the $71.7 million in loan discharges. So I think that's fair. You know, the school lied about it, they got these people to join, and now the school has to cover the costs. And the action was part of a broader installment of $415 million in loan relief for former students of for-profit colleges. So basically what happened is DeVry said that 90% of its graduates found jobs in their field of study within six months of graduation. And it became the center of a national advertising campaign with the slogan, we major in careers. So they basically positioned themselves like as if they were a university that it was designed to get you a job. To get a good job with a great starting salary which is something that a lot of people are frustrated about because many universities out there teach you sort of mumbo jumbo philosophical stuff that doesn't actually help you to get a career. But this was clearly a situation where it was out of the frying pan and into the fryer because the education department says the actual job placement rate was 58%. And more than half the jobs included in the school's figure were held by students before they graduated or before they even enrolled. It also alleged that the senior officials at DeVry knew about the problems with the figure but continued using it for years. And what do you know, this is not the first time DeVry has done this, of course. Similar allegations from the FTC led to a $100 million settlement with DeVry in 2016. Now don't get me wrong, that's a good start, but considering in 2009 they made about $54.7 million in profit, and they were able to do this for many, many years, they have still made a ridiculous amount of profit, even though they have extremely shady practices. Now, allegedly lying about job placement numbers is one thing, but this is just the tip of the iceberg in terms of the shady practices that DeVry and other for-profit universities like them use. And speaking of job placement, if you're still confused about the best career for you, go ahead and download my completely free six-step guide to finding your dream career. Thousands of people have downloaded this already. You know, it's given people a ton of help. Usually I, you know, have people pay for this sort of thing, but I decided to make a super easy six step guide so that you can help yourself and check it out down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. Now, one of the other really shady practices that DeVry and a lot of these for-profit universities use is they aggressively solicit people. It gets to the point where it is borderline spam or harassment. So for instance, here is one post on Reddit. It took me 18 months for them to stop contacting me. I don't know about the quality, but they're annoying. And there are many reports of people who have tried to get DeVry and other for-profit universities to stop contacting them to no avail. They just keep calling over and over again like a sketchy telemarketing agency. And that right there is a very bad sign. Now on top of this, DeVry is one of the most expensive for-profit universities. For instance, University of Phoenix, maybe the most well-known one, is about $398 per credit and DeVry is 514. Now, what do you get for that $514 per credit, which is way above the national average? Well, they have a 20% graduation rate. And typically when you look at their their reviews online, they aren't exactly stellar. So for instance, this one has about a 2.8 star review approximately. But if you look online at websites like collegerealitycheck.com, which sounds like a website that would be extremely critical of colleges, you'll see that they actually say a lot of good things about this university. Now, I don't know anything about this website, but I'm curious if there are any affiliate links on here or if this person was paid to write this article. And apparently DeVry partners with different companies and basically like, you know, sometimes they'll work with the company's employees and then the employees can like go to college in order 
order to get a degree. And I'm also very curious whether these companies get some sort of kickback from DeVry if their employees end up going to the college or for advertising to their employees. But yeah, it just seems like universities like these have scandal after scandal. I believe in 2017, they were sold and they went from a public company to a private company. So maybe they're improving the value of the product, but it looks like from recent posts, recent reviews, et cetera, it's not that great still. And yeah, this is an example of a type of college that in my opinion, you should definitely avoid. Check out my other video right here. I made it just for you. Go ahead, gently tap that like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and comment down below any thoughts, comments, criticisms, et cetera, that you have on the video. And I will see you next time.